Central Catholic football tried to make Indiana high school football history Friday by becoming the first football program to win four straight Class A state football titles. For that to happen, the Knights would have to dispose of Indianapolis Cecina, the team that the Knights downed in last year's Class A state title game. Let's head to Lucas Oil Stadium, Indianapolis, to show you how head coach Kevin O'Shea and the Knights fared today. Ross Corcoran leading CC out into the field. The punt by Central Catholic's Andrew Huberts. Hubie was big in the punting game today in all postseason. This one rolls all the way down to the one. Will Jones sells out to make the play. Will Jones made a lot of things happen in this game. Great field position. Late second quarter, Crusaders threatening. Big stop by the Central Catholic defense. After, we'll show you that, but that's Will Jones with the interception and the nice return, and the Knights get great field position. Now, we mentioned more great defense. This is right here. Grant Vogt with the stop on third down, keeping Cecina from a field goal. Scores the half. That changes in the third quarter as quarterback Ty Preston, the little swing pass to Joe Smith, Smith lost his shoe on the play. Didn't matter. Shoeless Joe, 54 yards touchdown. By the way, former Knight, current Boilermaker Danny Anthrop said Knight's going to win this game 14 0. His prediction, it was 7 0 when this punt goes to Timmy Mills. His brother, Jimmy Mills, would be the Mental Attitude Award winner. It would be Timmy Mills, they're related, of course, who would run this and run this and run this and run this. And that's a touchdown. That makes the score 14 0. Will Jones, he's nicknamed the Energizer Bunny. This is good reason. What a backflip. And what a prediction by Danny Anthrop. 14 0 Knights win, fourth consecutive Class A state championship. Sports 18's Ross Boland spoke to the state champion Knights after the game. For the fourth straight season, the Central Catholic Knights are state champions. And one thing is for sure the feeling of finishing the year number one never gets old. It's the greatest feeling ever. We've, we've been working since fourth grade for this. I mean, this is what we all wanted and we finally reached it. Uh, these guys are my brothers. I love them more than anything. I mean, we're going to stay friends forever. You, I mean, you don't go through all this and just forget about it. We're, we're brothers for forever. It's awesome. You know, freshman year, who would have ever thought we could have done this? And I'm just so glad that everyone stuck together and throughout all four years, all the cards fell our way and we got four of them. The 4 P. That uh, it's been a great experience, and at my trophy case at home, I've got one spot missing, and this is where that medal's going, and it's just gonna complete my trophy case. It's it's an amazing feeling. It was a game that was tied 0-0 at the half until Joe Smith broke this one wide open with a 54-yard touchdown catch, and he did it with one shoe. Uh, it's just a simple crossing route about five yards deep and I just came across the side and Ty saw me and I was wide open so he just dished it off to me. It was a bit weird. I felt like I was going to fall over because I kept sliding every time I'd come down on my right foot. I had made fun of him today in his new shoes and uh, I'm glad I did because uh, he, he turned in a big play. Ty barely got the ball off in time but it was an accurate throw and uh, Joe took it up the sidelines, did the rest I guess with one shoe. Right now I'm, I'm very, very happy for our seniors. Um, uh, you know, it's something that they had a goal as, and, and it's fun to help them realize that goal. Head coach Kevin O'Shea and the Knights will celebrate this one for a long time, as they are the only team in Class A to win four years in a row. Next year brings a new challenge for LCC, as the Knights will take their football program to 2A. Reporting at Lucas Oil Stadium, Ross Bolin, Sports 18.